Satnam everybody and welcome. Uh, today we are going to look at again root chakra and detoxifying. Detoxification is the name of this Kriya. So um, we'll just start off with our hands on our knees and just circling the trunk of the body around, getting everything moving. Helping the process of digestion and elimination by gently massaging the organs, just circling around. We detoxify continuously through life uh, on all forms of energy. When that flow is continuous and clear, we are steady and flexible. And turn, change direction. The trouble is we accumulate more than we process and we become way down under the ash of metabolism and remnants of old emotion. So this set is uh, designed systematically, moves the energy of the body and mind to keep you light and vitalized. Change direction. Detoxifying, getting rid of um, toxins out of our body physically and also uh, emotionally detoxifying, very important. Okay, sitting back in our chair. And um, we're going to sit up nice and straight and tall and we're going to do a tiny little bit of chanting. We're going to repeat, well, we'll do it mentally. We'll say into ourselves, Satnam. Satnam means I am, which is actually the mantra for the, um, the base of the trunk of the body as well, these lower chakras, because this is all about security and survival. I am, it's the most important person, really, for you, is your life and your survival. So we're thinking of the word Satnam. And we're going to repeat it six times and then we're going to think of the word Wahe Guru. So as you breathe in, you're going to think Satnam, 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 Satnam. And then Wahe Guru as you breathe out. So keep going like that. Breathing in light through the nose. Satnam six times as you breathe in. Breathe out with one powerful Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru basically means most amazing, indescribable life. If you're finding it hard to count to six and do the mantra at the same time, use your fingertips, count three in one hand and three on the other, and then wahiguru in one. As you're breathing in, feel the tummy expand, the ribs expand, the shoulders. As you breathe out, everything moves back to the navel. One more time. and then lift and squeeze on rip lock and then bring the palms of the hands together and then stretch the hands straight up and lift and squeeze on rip lock and stretch up through the spine up through the corner of the head up through the fingertips and relax the arms down and again inhale lift up stretch apply rip lock and relax one more time, inhale, just squeeze, and then relax. Okay, so we're coming off our chair now. I'm going to do a little bit of stretching on the floor. And we're going to do, um, chair pose is good for root lock as well. So have your feet about hip distance apart. Outside edges of the feet are parallel and we're going to squat down, inhale up, exhale down. So when you're squatting down, your knees, you want their knees to go, not to go past the toes, but you can sit right back and again, see if you can feel where your tailbone is. Strengthening your legs are also really good for lower chakra. Okay, well done. And then we're going to come down onto the floor. I'm just going to move my camera. 
Okay, so we're coming down onto the floor. Now you're going to lie on your tummy. And bring your hands um, underneath your chest like this. So we're going to breathe in and look up, up into the mouth. Stick your tongue out. Breathe into your mouth and then breathe out through your mouth as you come back down. Good. So breathing in, tongue out as you come up and breathing out, tongue out as you come down. Um, if that's easy for you, you can bring your hands underneath your shoulders and try it and stretch up a little bit higher. Big toes are touching, heels are out to the side. Good, and then turn over. Okay, so bring one knee into your chest. If you can bring your knees into your chest and stretch your fingertips up to the ceiling and then we're going to lower the hands down and lower the legs down. Knees into the chest, hands up to the ceiling, lower the legs down, lower the hands down. Keep going like that. Knees into the chest. So core work is all really good for root chakra as well. Okay, good. Now bring your hands underneath your hips and maybe just a few bicycles here. Change direction. Change. And change, good, thank you. Twinning these tummy muscles. Good, relax the legs down. Last exercise, um, all you're doing is bringing the feet to touch, the, the sides of the feet to touch, and then opening the feet apart. Feet to touch, apart. Squeeze them together and apart a few more times. Okay, and then allow yourself to get nice and comfy. So if you want to get the lower back flat, you might want to bend your knees first of all, put your feet down, lift the hips lower the lower back down if you want to you could put your feet back up on your chair you have it nearby good and then releasing relaxing letting go allow yourself to have a, a, a nice relaxation here for a few minutes at least Again, you can bring your awareness back down to the root chakra, thinking of a ball of red light energy in the hips, the base of the trunk of the body, which is making you nice and stable, feeling secure. Really feeling grounded. It comes from the earth, the earth element, so feeling grounded.